Today we are looking at some modern baseball cards that sold at auction for some really good money. So if you have any old baseball cards in your attic, garage, parents house, wherever, uh, definitely watch this whole video. We're going to show you what these cards have sold for at auction in specific conditions. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Uh, we're going to start with a 1985 Topps Tom Seaver card, but we're going to go all the way up to 2017. Uh, so uh, this card here is graded at a perfect grade, a Gem Mint 10 by PSA. That's where the value is at. If you can get a Gem Mint 10 on specific cards, you're talking some good money. And it all depends on the card, of course. Now this card ended up selling at auction for over $900 because of that grade by PSA. Tom Seaver, great player, man. Played for the Reds. I'm in Cincinnati, so Tom Seaver fan. All right, so this next card here is from 1988. As we know, these cards are very, very common cards in 1988. 1988 score, Roberto Alomar card. You know, it's graded at a Jim Mint 10. That's where the value is at for this card. Um, so if you got it at a nine, it's going to be significantly different values. That's the game you play when you pay to have cards graded. You know, people try to get that Jim Mint 10. Sometimes they spend more money than they'll actually get back out of the cards. So it's a risk. You got to know which cards you should get graded, right? This card ended up selling for over $500. And of course, you got to educate yourself with grading. You know, you got to understand the grading scale for, you know, specific companies and things like that. You know, the surface, uh, the edges, the corners, you know, all that good stuff is uh, going to affect the grade and the value. Now, this next coin here is the 1991 Donruss Elite George Brett card uh, that is graded at a Gem Mint 10 and it sold for $3,000. Now here on the back of the card, you'll see that they only made 10,000 of these cards. Um, so these were cards that were actually inserted into the boxes of the, you know, the 91 Donruss Elite uh, kid baseball card boxes. Um, so I actually got one of these graded myself, uh, not this specific one, but one of these, you know, numbered Elite Series cards. Um, so I might be selling it, you never know. $3,000 for that one. Now here is a, again, a very common card. You know, it looks like a very common, I'm sure a lot of people have had this card, right? The 1991 Topps All-Star Ken Griffey Jr. card. It's graded at a Jim Mint 10. And what is different from this one, probably compared to maybe one you may have, is that this is the Tiffany version of the card. So how do you tell if it's Tiffany or not? Well, if you look at the back of the card, you can see this one is very, very bright. Uh, you know, if you look at the regular edition of this card, it's pretty dull, you know, uh, but this one almost looks like a white, bright, you know, pink and uh, blue colors here, you know. On the other one, very, very dull, cardboard looking, uh, you know, card. Uh, you know, some of these Tiffany cards, they used to have a T on the numbers. Uh, I forget which uh, years that was, but anyways, for this card, it sold for $228 at auction. Uh, because of that grade. So don't get it mixed up with the regular edition of this card. Moving on to a 1991 score card that is featuring Mickey Mantle. Now this card is actually autographed here on the back of the baseball card. You can see it's 2,430 of 2,500 personally autographed cards. Now that's pretty cool there. I would have loved to find uh, that in an old score pack. Oh man, that would have been great. Graded at a uh, near mint to mint eight. The auto is graded at a 10. This baseball card sold for $1,500. All right, here's another, you know, very common card, uh, but it's graded at a gem mint 10. That's really where the value is at. Uh, it does feature Derek Jeter when he was playing single way ball. So it's the 1994 Topps prospect card uh, with, uh, you know, Wilson, Miller, Neal, and Jeter. This card ended up selling for $690 because of that grade by PSA. Now here's a Michael Jordan card back when, uh, you know, Michael Jordan left the NBA and uh, picked up his cleats and got on the baseball field. So this is the 1994 Upper Deck Michael Jordan card, graded at a mint nine, sold for over $310. 
Here's another Derek Jeter card from 1996 Pinnacle Starburst card. Uh, you know, this card is graded at that perfect grade. You know, Jim meant 10, and that's why the card sold for over $600. Moving right along to a 1997 Bowman Chrome Roy Halladay card, graded at a Jim Mint 10 and an older PSA holder here. This card ended up selling for $780 at auction. Can't beat that. Now here's a more modern card, 2005 Topps Justin Verlander, a rookie card draft pick here, uh, graded at a Jim Mint 10. That is where that value is at there. This card ended up selling for $348. Next up is the 2011 Bowman Chrome uh, Red Refractor here, Francisco Lindor. Uh, Bowman Chrome Red Refractor uh, Draft Prospects card here, graded by Beckett at a 9.5. And here on the back of the card, you will see that it is numbered 4 of 5. This card ended up selling for over $1,700. $1,700, that's right. Now here's an even more modern card. 2017 Topps Chrome Aaron Judge card. Uh, graded by SGC this time. Now this card is graded at a pristine 10. So similar to PSA's Gym Mint 10, right? SGC, very uh, trustworthy grading service as well. Pretty common card, uh, but it's the Chrome. It's the Topps Chrome at a 10. This card ended up selling for $2,500 at auction. $2,500 at auction. Unbelievable. So always check your cards. You know, feel free to check out my other card videos. I'll have uh, them listed here at the end of this video or you can just go check out my channel and check those out as well Yeah, I plan on doing more card videos uh, in the future Feel free to let me know in the comments below if you want me to do card openings card breaks here on the channel I do those on my Facebook page couch collectibles. So feel free to check that out uh, in the comments below or just go search couch collectibles on Facebook. All right guys Don't forget to subscribe in the middle feel free to check out the videos to the left of me and until tomorrow I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is couch collectibles and this is where I disappear